How do you design a website in 2021 with Elementor and Elementor Pro? Hi everyone, I'm Lydia, a social media manager, website designer that is meant to help you grow your business more with social media marketing. If you're interested in those topics, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the process of designing your website with Elementor and Elementor Pro. If you want to check out Elementor and get it for your own website, make sure to check out the link in the description. Step number one, you need to install your Elementor plugin into your WordPress website. You can do so from your plugins and add new, or you can go on and download the plugin for their website. If you want to upgrade to Elementor Pro, make sure to follow the instructions below to purchase your license and then you can upload the Pro plugin to your WordPress website and get that working. The first thing when you want to design a new website, you need to go and add your desired pages that you want to use and design with Elementor later. First thing you need to do is go to pages, add new and add your pages. For example, you can add the home page, you can add the blog page, you can add about me, contact and any other landing pages or services that you want to use later. After you do that, you need to go on and create your menu by dragging and dropping the pages that you want to be in there. You can do that from appearance, navigation and menus and create new menu. Don't forget to also select the position of the menu. Now I'm going to go ahead and use Elementor to create the main template for the page that I'll be using all across my website. Keep in mind I'm using a free theme for designing this website so this is why I want to create with Elementor Canvas that gives me the option of adding the menu myself, of adding any other menus that I want to the page, any social media icons, anything that I want to be designed on my page, any page that I want on my website, I can do so with Elementor. So because I'm using a free theme that is not very complex, I decide to use Elementor to create a website with that. So to edit your first page with Elementor, go to the page, click edit page, and then click edit with Elementor. This will bring up the Elementor editor and you can start designing your page. After you open your Elementor editor, the first thing that you need to do is go to settings and from page, make sure to select Elementor canvas. This will give you the option of editing every single aspect of your page. So for the home page, the first thing I want to have on all my pages on the home page as well is a shop announcement. I just think it makes my website be a little bit more branded and look a bit better. Just write in there what the website is about. So I will add a new section. I will change the background of it and the text color and add in the text that I want. You can also change the font and the size of the text and everything else from typography. Next, the best thing about Elementor is that you can add your logo anywhere you want. You can add a short menu, then your logo, then another menu. You can add your menu up and there your logo in the center of the website, make it as big or small as you want. There are just a bunch of things that you can do with Elementor, which is why I love it. So for this website, I'm going to first add a social icon menu on the top page. So I will add a new section, add multiple columns, and then add the social media icons and add my links to them. After that, in the left side of that column, I will add a menu that I created called the essentials menu. And there I will add about me, contact me and privacy policy of the website. Now I'm going to add another section with columns where I will add my website logo wherever I feel like it fits best. You can also use spacers in between those sections to make the website look a bit more spacious and well designed. Now after adding the logo where I want it to be, 
I will add the main navigation menu. And the best thing about Elementor is that you can make that menu look however you want. You can change the arrows and how they look. You can change the hover color however you want without having to go through coding or anything else. You can change the font, the size and many more things about the main menu. So play around with it and decide which one works for your website design best. Now we're going to leave that front side, that top side of the page normal because we're going to save that as a template after we also design the footer so we can insert all those settings in every single page so we won't have to make all these settings for every single page you'll see what i'm talking about in a minute so add a spacer to the middle of the page for you to get a feel of how the website will look like and then we're going to work on the footer Add the background color of the section, add multiple columns in which you want to add links, you want to add your logo again maybe, you can add photos, you can add your Instagram feed if you want that, and you can save all of these as a template to insert in another page. So go ahead and save it as a template, give it a name, and then we're going to go to another page to insert it there so you can see how that works. So I'm going to now go to the about page and insert that template. And as you can see, everything is set up. And now all I have to do is work on the rest of the page to create an about me page. I'm going to go through a few elements that you can use for your about me page. Um, you can use the slider to add images. You can use just the image and play around with columns and make them look aesthetically pleasing and as asymmetric as you want for your website. If you have a shop page that you want to display products, to, you can use the WooCommerce elements, the single product element, the category one, just displays product and you select the categories that they should be in and many, many more. So you get all these features with Elementor Pro. So if you want to check out Elementor Pro, make sure to click the link in the description. So Elementor makes it really easy for you to design every single page of your website by just dragging and dropping different elements they have a bunch new ones that they've added recently so if you want to just check it out get the free plugin and check it out and if you need more elements you can always upgrade to pro remember to always use high quality images and videos on your website for the best branded feel and for you to be recognized as an authentic brand if you need somebody to help you with your website design whether it is on WordPress or Shopify or anything else make sure to click the link below and fill out the form to get in contact with me or you can contact me on Instagram at Lydia.IncomingSuccess or on my email at LydiaS at IncomingSuccess.com. Remember to always take a second look on your page and add all the spacing elements and everything else that you want to change before updating the page for it to go live. Thank you so much for watching. For more social media marketing and website design videos, make sure to subscribe and press the bell to be notified when I upload and follow me on Instagram for exclusive IGTVs and Instagram reels where I share my income reports and a lot of content that I don't share on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.